throw something else out into the mix because it might be more fascinating as, as part of the questions. One of the things that I discovered relatively late, partially when I was researching some material for this, was uh, I became aware of a number of frauds that were per per perpetuated by scientists, unfortunately for this discussion anyway, in support of evolutionary theory. Now, I've been trying to talk to a lot of scientific friends to find out how prevalent frauds are, but I'm going to run through a couple of them real quick and then pose an interesting question to the group. Has anyone heard of Piltdown Man? Supposedly the milting, mil missing link turned out to be a total fraud. Anybody heard about the moths in England, the black moths on the white trees? Turned out to be a fraud. Um, the um, what is it? Hank Heckles. Uh, em thank you. Embryos. Anybody heard about that one? It was in. It may be in current biology textbooks for all I know, but that turned out to be a fraud. And then finally. Uh, the experiment that was supposedly done trying to recreate the gaseous nature of the Big Bang and could we get proteins and could we get amino acids to start and so on and so forth. And it looked like it had very, very promising results, but then it turns out that the astrophysicists say that's probably not the mix of gases that were present, blah, 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 blah. Some garbage in, garbage out assumptions were made, so on and so forth. And that's not what particularly fascinates me, other than the fact that I haven't heard of a lot of fraud in other branches of science. What fascinated me was that in every instance, it took decades for the fraud to be exposed. And when it was exposed by someone, the person exposing the fraud was vilified. Now again, if you're thinking that this is the scientific method, you would think that the person who exposed the fraud would be honored. Somebody would come along and say, thank you very much for saving us from scientific ridicule. But they were vilified. And in some cases, people said, I knew it was a fraud all along. I just didn't say anything. That fascinated me. And I'd be curious if anybody else has heard of any other major branches of science where that kind of history.